Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. In this first video, we will learn how to create strategies on your Dior.net account. In a second video, we will explore how to set up alerts and receive them on the Dior Companion app or on Telegram. First, let's talk about strategies. The strategies feature on Dior.net is a very powerful tool to help you identify the best setups at a glance, you can define the most relevant configurations for your trading methods using the numerous indicators analyzed by Dior.net, which you can combine together. With each new scan, you can view the latest results for each of your strategies. Let's create a new strategy by clicking on the New Strategy button. The Strategy Maker will open. The first thing you'll notice is that strategies can consist of multiple filter groups. For now, let's leave that aside, but you'll see that this feature will give you complete control over your strategies. For now, let's create a simple first strategy. One of my favorite strategies is identifying bullish divergences on the RSI with an oversold RSI. This often indicates a potential trend reversal to the upside. To create this strategy, we'll click on the Add Field button. In the drop-down menu, click on Spotted Divergences. Two fields will appear. The first one, is or is not, allows you to specify whether you want the assets to have or not have this characteristic. Here, we want them to have it. Then, the other field offers all the divergences scanned by Dior.net. Here, bullish divergence on the RSI is selected by default, but by clicking on the selector, we can see that many other types of divergences are available, such as on the OBV, Stochastic RSI, or MACD. Our first indicator is now configured. As a reminder, we also want the RSI to be oversold. This option is located in Spotted Buy Signals. Let's click on it. Again, it is the default option. But if we click on the selector, we can see many other options available. Let's talk about the operator inside this group field above the indicators we've added. This is very important as it allows you to choose whether all the indicators in your filter group must match or if only one of them should match. You'll see later that this can be very useful. Our strategy is almost ready. The last step is to give it a name and optionally a description. Let's call it RSI Oversold plus RSI Bull Div. Click on the Save Strategy button. Then return to the list of your strategies. Find your strategy on the page. Here it is. As you can see, there aren't many results for this strategy today because the market is rising and so are the RSIs. Now let's dive a little deeper into what's possible with strategies. Click on the Edit button. This will bring us back to the Strategy Maker with the parameters we just configured. We will now go through the various options you can include in your strategies. Click on Add Field, then on Spotted Buy Signals. Remember, this is where we added the RSI oversold characteristic. There are many other options available. If we click on the drop-down menu, we can find oversold stochastic RSI, stochastic buy signals, MACD crosses, DI crosses, super trend bullish switches, and Bollinger Band breakouts. Next, you have signals specific to the Ichimoku strategy. Then there are crossovers of moving averages, both standard and exponential. That covers the buy signals. Now let's look at the sell signals. These are more or less the same options as the buy signals, but in bearish versions. Here we're looking for RSIs indicating overbought conditions, as well as overbought stochastic RSI, along with all bearish crosses on MACD, DI, Supertrend, and Bollinger Bands. The same applies to Ichimoku and moving averages. There is also an other signals option, which we could call neutral signals. These are signals that, on their own, don't have a particular meaning, but can support a technical analysis when combined with other indicators. At the time this tutorial is recorded, the only option available here is increasing volume. Next, we have chart patterns. Chart patterns are combinations of support and resistance lines that, depending on price action, form triangles, flags, or wedges, which can help analyze whether the trend is likely to continue or reverse. Currently, Dior.net is capable of analyzing seven of these patterns, with more to come. In addition to chart patterns, Dior.net can analyze breakouts of these chart patterns. You can also detect trendline breakouts. Dior.net also offers a resistance trendline scanner. Next, there's the Spotted Divergences option, which you're already familiar with. 
Here you can filter all divergences, standard or hidden, bullish or bearish, on the RSI, OBV, MACD, or stochastic RSI. Then we have candlestick patterns. On candlestick charts, the candles reveal a lot about price action based on the size of the candle's body and its upper and lower wicks. These candles, or combinations of candles, form patterns, and here you'll find the most commonly used ones in trading. Next, there's the Dior.net score option. The Dior.net algorithm determines the strength of a trend by analyzing numerous indicators and rates this trend on an absolute scale from 0 to 100. This option has two fields. The first, on the left, is greater than or less than. On the right, there's the score scale, ranging from MAGA's 100 to 100. From 0 to 100, you'll be targeting bullish trends, 0 being neutral, and 100 indicating a very strong trend. From 0 to MIDA 100, you'll target bearish trends using the same principle. For example, you can search for all scores greater than 50 score holidays if you're looking for only strong bullish trends. Conversely, if you're looking for strong bearish trends, you could choose less than and MIDA 50 or any number below 0, depending on the strength of the trend you want to filter. Then, there's the indicator comparison option. This is very simple. You can compare all the price indicators analyzed by Dior.net. For example, you can look for prices higher than the MA10, as set by default, or the middle Bollinger Band. You can also compare moving averages with each other. This tool is very useful for refining trend analyses. Finally, you have a last option to filter based on indicator values. For instance, you can display only tokens with an TAR RSI greater than 50. You can do the same with the K and D lines of the stochastic RSI, ADX, DI plus, or DI minus. That's it for all the available options. Now let's focus on filter groups. To do this, we'll edit our strategy. As a reminder, we're looking for cryptocurrencies with an oversold RSI and a bullish divergence on the RSI. But I want to refine my search by adding a candlestick pattern indicating a possible trend reversal. I want to filter tokens with either a hammer or a bullish engulfing pattern. This behavior can't be achieved in our current filter group as we want all filters to match. No problem. We just need to create a new filter group, which we will configure so that only one of the indicators in the group matches. To do this, click on the Add Filter Group button. A new filter group will appear under the previous one. Click on the Operator Inside This Group field and select OR, at least one filter must match. Then, we simply add the desired candlestick patterns. First, the hammer. I click on Add Field, then on Candlestick Patterns. I search for Hammer and add it. Then, we add the bullish engulfing in the same way. Finally, let's focus on this last field, Operator Between Filter Groups. As you've probably guessed, it follows the same principle as the Operator Inside This Group field we discussed earlier, but this time, it applies to the filter groups themselves. You can decide whether all filter groups must match or if only one of them is enough. For example, you could create one filter group to search for bullish divergences and another filter group to search for bearish divergences. If you leave the option set to AND, you are unlikely to get results. However, if you switch the option to OR, your two filter groups will return results as you would be searching for either bullish divergences or bearish divergences, rather than requiring both at the same time. And that's it. We've refined our strategy. We are now searching for all tokens with an oversold RSI and a bullish divergence on the RSI that also show at least one hammer or bullish engulfing pattern. Add to this filters based on indicators, comparisons between indicators, and other options, and you get the ultimate tool for creating your own trading strategies. That's all for this video on strategies. See you very soon in a new video about setting up alerts to receive your results directly on the Dior Companion app or on Telegram. For any questions, feel free to contact me either through Dior.net support or on X, formerly Twitter, at DiorNetCrypto. Crypto.